Well, good afternoon, folks. Welcome back to another exciting creek fishing episode out here. At this little creek behind me, we're going for brown trout, and they do stock quite a few rainbows in here as well. So, brown trout, rainbow trout. I got my spinning rod, and I'm gonna start by throwing this little fire tiger Rapala, and we'll see what happens. I brought my catch and cook stuff out here. So hopefully we can get something we can cook for lunch. Let's get started. All right. So got this little Rapala. We're gonna start off with this, see if it works. And then I got spinners, jigs, and I actually brought some flies with me as well. So we'll see what they want. First cast. Ooh, that was one. There we go. Oh, there was one. Dang it. He got off. There we go. There's a fish. Finally, I've gotten bit like four times at this spot. What do we got? Ooh, a rainbow. A rainbow. Check that out, folks. Beautiful rainbow. Definitely a stalker, but he's got some nice colors on him. And we're gonna let this guy go because it's the first one of the day, so. Beautiful rainbow, holy cow. Hopefully it's the first one of many. Get out of here, bud. There you go. He's coming back to me. He's coming back to me. Hey, there you go. There he goes. All right, we are on the board. Let's see if there's anything else down there. Well, I know there is, because I got bit like four times. So there's definitely more fish down there. Oh, there was one. Got him. Oh, right there. That was a nice fish. That was a nice fish right there. Gotta go. There he is. Oh my gosh. Dude, there are fish going crazy right here. All right, I gotta go real slow. The slower I go. There we go, got him, got him. I was going so slow, just barely turning the handle. And that's what's getting bites. Looks like it's another rainbow. Oh, oh, no, there he goes. Dang it, I was actually tempted to keep that one. Ah, well, that sucks. All right, you know what? I'm gonna, oh, got him, never mind. Got him, brownie, brownie. Check it out. There we go, species number two of the day. Nice brown trout. The other ones that have been hitting it have definitely been rainbows because I've been seeing them. I'm watching them come up to it, but there are some wild browns in this stream. That is so freaking cool. I'm just gonna let this one go. Fish number two, species number two. There he goes. Oh, that water's so freaking cold. So what I was gonna say before I caught that fish is I was thinking of switching to like a spinner or something, something a little smaller that they might be able to eat easier, but I don't know. I guess we're still catching fish, so we'll just keep throwing this for a while. Got him, got him. Another rain, I think that's a rainbow. That's a good fish. That ain't no small fish, that's a solid. I can't even tell what it is. Yeah, it's a rainbow. All right, all right, all right. I think we're gonna keep this guy. This is lunch. Check that out. That is a solid fish. That is a big fish for this creek. They must have just stocked in a bunch of big rainbows like this. Barely skin hooked too. Like he is barely hooked. And there we go. That is lunch for us. Let's keep fishing. Uh, guys, we have a problem. We have a problem. My fish is gone. 
What the heck? I set my fish on that stringer right there. I did not think he could move and he's just gone. I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy trying to catch fish. Where did he go? Dang it. Well, now we don't have a fish to cook. We're gonna have to get another one, hopefully. Oh, there's one. There we, oh no! You know what, I'm gonna try switching to a spinner. I don't know if it's gonna make a difference, but we're gonna try it. There we go. First cast with the spinner. First cast with the spinner. All right, we're gonna keep this guy and we are not gonna let him go. We are not gonna let him go. And got him. Got him. Look at that. Got him on that little yellow rooster tail spinner. All right, I am gonna make sure that this guy does not get away. I'm just gonna set him right there for now. And I'm gonna watch him closely. Let's get back in there. There we go. There we go. Little rainbow. Oh, look at that. Yeah, little rainbow. Look at that, pretty. See ya. There we go. Got him. Nice. That is so cool. These have all been nice, healthy, fat rainbows. Really pretty too. A lot of times these stalkers can have like, you know, just silver, dull colors, but these have all been beautiful fish. There we go. There we go. I think that's a brown. I think that's a brown. Nope. Rainbow. He just has some dark colors on him. Yeah, look at that. Cool, look at that. That is what I mean. Absolutely beautiful. That is awesome. All right, well, this was a cool spot. I think I'm going to come back later with my fly rod, actually, see if I can get them on some woolly buggers or something like that. But for now, I'm going to keep moving down, keep exploring the creek, see what else we can find. <sighs> well, here is the deal. I've driven about a mile looking for another spot on the creek to fish and there's literally like nowhere to fish. The entire stream is really, really high. It's flooding out because it's spring and the further down I'm going, it's like chocolate milk. So I think what I'm going to do, I am getting pretty hungry. It's like 3.30, 4 o'clock. So I'm going to whip out my stove, cook that rainbow we caught, then we'll go back to that spot, try to catch some more fish on the fly. All right guys, so I got all my cooking stuff set up right here on this log. Got my stove, got my pan, some oil, some Cajun seafood fry mix, which I had in one of the last videos, and it was really good. So we're gonna be trying it again today. We got our rainbow trout all filleted up, and notice how pink the fillets are. I was actually quite surprised, pleasantly surprised, because those trout, I think, they probably just came from a hatchery and usually when those rainbows come out of a hatchery they have really white meat and they typically don't taste the best but those fish must have been in there longer than I thought because I mean, that looks like salmon right there all right so first thing I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna cut these fillets into smaller chunks just like that and it's not a lot of fish but it's something maybe <laughs> I'm starting to think I should have kept two. So then I'm gonna take our Cajun mix, and then I'm just gonna pour it over the fish. Usually I'd take an egg and wash the fillets through the egg, but it says on the back you don't need to. Just pat them dry. So I'll just mix them around.
my oil is starting to pop and bubble. So I'm going to take our chunks of fish, set it right in there. Alright, there we go. They already smell delicious. I'm telling you guys, go give this a try. McCormick Cajun Seafood Mix. Very good. Now they're not going to take very long to cook. I'll go ahead and flip them. Alright, so I'm starting to notice uh, not a lot of the breading stuck to them. I kind of figured that would happen because uh, I didn't use an egg, but it did say on the back of the box that if you just pat them dry, you'll be good, but they, uh, they're looking a little naked. I guess that's one way to put it. All right, fish is done. Go ahead and set them on our napkin there. Ooh, that's gonna be a good piece. Boom, look at that. Fresh rainbow trout right from the creek. Ooh, I'll grab one of them. Ooh, that's still pretty hot, ow. All right, folks, here we go. Fresh rainbow. Ooh, that's hot. That's pretty good. You know what? It's good, but to be 100% honest, it's kind of bland. Like I'm being 100% honest. It just doesn't taste like a whole lot. I mean, not a ton of the batter stuck to it. So maybe that's why. Even the fish itself doesn't have much flavor at all. It's not even fishy. It just kind of, yeah, which is interesting because usually any trout with pink meat tastes amazing. I have had them where they're a little bit bland. Still good though. There's nothing better than the little catching cook by the creek. It's a beautiful day really warm it's melting all the snow off the mountains and just flooding the creeks out thankfully i'm actually kind of surprised i was able to catch fish out of this stream because i thought it was going to be chocolate milk completely blown out but i'm glad we found a little spot with some fish all right before we end the video i'm going to try to catch a few more fish on the fly rod so i've got a little black leech and i'm just going to toss it right there where we were catching those fish earlier see what we can get There was one. There we go. There we go. Fish on. There we go. Nice rainbow. that out that looks like a wild one that definitely looks like a wild one clean fins beautiful holy cow got him on the leech <laughs> well this is definitely the nicest fish we've caught all day man I swear that looks like a wild one comment down below Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. I'm really glad I decided to come to this creek and give it a try because I wasn't too sure. I thought it was going to be flooded out and there wasn't going to be any fish. But even though it is flooded out a little bit, we still caught some. So super happy about that. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. If you guys want to check out the fly rod I was using in the end there to catch those last couple fish, I'll leave a link below. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.